Hello and welcome to my video. During this short segment, I will be creating a type of bioplastic from agar powder and water through hydration and gelation. Agar powder is a type of carbohydrate derived from algal compounds and it is used to solidify liquids. Agar melts at around 85 degrees Celsius or 185 degrees Fahrenheit, which means it won't melt at room temperatures, making it a perfect compound to use in the creation of bioplastics. However, of course, in humid conditions, the bioplastic may melt. The structure of one repeating unit of agar is shown here. Agarose, the gelling portion of agar, is a neutral linear polymer made up of repeating alternate units of beta-1,3 D-galacticose and alpha-1,4-3,6 anhydro-L-galacticose, which appear to have a double helical structure. Also, the gelling property of agar is due to the three equatorial hydrogen atoms on the 3,6 L-galacticose residues which constrain the molecule to form a helix. The interaction of the helixes by aggregation to form a three-dimensional structure framework that hold the water molecules within the intricacies of the framework causes the formation of the gel. This will occur while agar gel sets as it cools, like any other thermoreversible gel, as you will see later on in this video. Okay, so... In my bowl, I have two deciliters of water, and we'll be using water as our liquid for the gelling process because agar does not hydrate well in acidic liquids, which is why water, being a neutral liquid, would be the best compound to use. So I'm going to just be adding one teaspoon of agar powder and stirring it up. And then I'm going to add this mixture into a pot, which I'm going to bring it to a boil. And I'm going to have the heat on a low flame and I'm going to be stirring it constantly while bubbles form and it simmers. Again, for about one to two minutes. As you can see, the bubbles are coming up. And I'm just gonna stir it some more. You can already see it's, the liquid start to gel. So once it's been boiling, once it's been one to two minutes, here you can see the solid kind of start to form while it cools off the spoon. I'm just going to spread it on a piece of tin foil. In a nice thin layer. Just like so. And I'm going to let this sit outside for 20 24 hours. Okay, so it's been 24 hours and the layer has cooled and settled. This is just another layer I made with another pan. I'm just gonna take a knife and start to trim it off. Also, here is some of the solid that got left over. You can see it's very, it's all solidified. And here is the finished product, very moist and very gel-like. Like I had mentioned before, after the gelation and cooling process, as you can see here, the agaros chains have formed side-by-side -side aggregates, which have condensed into a three-dimensional interlocking network held together by non-covalent hydrogen bonds. 
or seen here as the bioplastic agaroshi, which is 100% edible. And this is all thanks to the synergesis property of agar, which is the spontaneous extrusion of water through the surface of the agar gel when it is left out to cool or dry. Now, even after it's cooled and dried, it's not going to be completely dry. It's still going to be moist, um, but that is okay because now you're going to see once I put the Cheerios in and start to fold it over, it will still kind of stick to each to the to itself. I'm just going to be using some water to dampen the edges and and this will help in it sticking to itself. So here I am just forming the pocket. Now I had a taste a little bit of the agar sheet and it really tastes like nothing. Um, there is a slight bit of a chemical taste, but I don't know if that is from the compound itself or if it's from the pot, but yes, there is a little faint taste of agar, I guess, but overall it's, it's not too bad. So you can see it's really starting to stick well, um, and really not a bad, not a bad compound at all for creating a bioplastic edible pouch. Zero waste, very eco-friendly. Here you can see it's really a nice little pouch. Very easy to take on the trail or just have. This is just the leftover sheet I had, but you can see it's very gelatinous kind of, just solid like. All right, thank you for watching this video. I will post the link for the recipe to create these edible bioplastic pouches in the description box below. Also, here is a list of references, just the link for... I will post these references in the description box below as well. Um, and that is it. Make sure to like and share this video. Thank you for watching and hope you guys have a great day.